Well, hello there. It's time to change things up. It's day 97. Today, we have about 20 feet left of earth bag on this north wall to get us up to the same level all the way around on the outer circle to the top of the screened openings. But also, we are going to change things up a little and come back to this nesting box right behind me. The more we looked at it, we weren't sure that it was going to work, but also we found a company that makes a nesting box that we thought might work better and turns out we can drop it into this opening with a few modifications so i am going to help lay bags with a few of the kids and the rest of them are going to go put that nesting box together and see what we need to do to make it work cool let's get started while jonathan's working on bag work i'm going to be opening this box and putting together what is inside this looks more complicated than I thought it was going to be. So I gotta go get a kid. Welcome back to Tiny Shiny Tuesday, where we shine a light on people doing cool stuff. The longer that we live here in Cochise County, the more cool people we run across. And so today, we wanted to share Zach and Val with you. They have been building a post and beam earth bag house. We saw the pictures on Facebook the other day, and it was so cool. The cob and bottle work was amazing. The plaster work was amazing. So we sent them a message and said, hey, can we come out and check this out? And so we drove over there. They gave us a tour. Ashley even got the plaster a little bit. And Jim from Green Dream Project also came over. And we all had such a good time. They were the nicest people. So if you want to see another cool earth bag build, make sure you're following their channel.
just broke in half. Ah. We knew we needed to do it soon, but now we got a whole half of a bucket stuck in here. Let's see if we can get it out. Well, guess we're doing the rest of this by hand, huh? Now that we got the nesting box put together, this old nesting box frame, the frame is staying, but the inserts are coming out. So time to do some work. Okay, check this thing out. Now, I know you have questions about what the heck all this is. We're not gonna get into how this thing works yet. You have to wait for another video for that. But here's what we need to do to make it work in this space. Because we had to cut this here, this isn't really supported. So we're gonna put another board that goes from the bottom all the way up. And that'll also give us a way to screw through here into that board to hold it in place. We can also screw down through the bottom, which we're gonna do as well. So we gotta do that on both sides and then we've gotta take these out because they're just kind of in the way and we're gonna build another shelf right above this that runs all the way across. We're gonna close it off on this side and then that way when we access the back, um, we'll have a little shelf to store things and that's also where we access the eggs. Oops, I, I gave it away, oh no. <laughs> okay, okay, so I'll tell you real quick. So this is the perch where the chickens jump up. This is where they would go in to lay and then let's go around to the back. Supposedly, this will handle 48 hens. And we have how many? I'm a little skeptical of that, but okay. How many hens do we have? We have almost 30, right? We have 24. Yeah. Okay, so then we come back outside of the chicken coop and which way we go? There we go. And the eggs, because this is slanted, will just roll down and gently sit here waiting for us to pick them up eggs and then we'll have another shelf here should be super useful
box is in and secured. That thing's pretty cool. Yeah. I gotta say. I'm real happy with it. I just came across it on Instagram and I was like, hmm. <laughs> How yeah. big is it? Will it fit in the space we made already? Yeah, and I'm surprised because it looks really small, but it does say it's up to 40, it's four up to 48 hens. That seems crazy to me because I have three nesting boxes right now that are about that size uh -huh. and they're all kind of waiting on each other. But <laughs> uh, the one I have right now has dividers. This has no dividers. It's all open. So really I could fit probably five hens in there at yeah. a time. And maybe two because right now our hens just kind of roam wherever yeah. they want. So... Maybe they'll get they on each lay, other's schedule. Well, yeah, they'll figure it out if yeah. they're confined to a smaller space. Yeah. Here's hoping. Yeah. Anyway, super excited about this best nest box. Um, what else do we have left to do? We're going to make the little shelf that goes above there, but we need wood for that. Yeah, so uh, I have to go get tires tomorrow for the truck. So while I'm in town, I'm going to pick up a bunch of wood. We have a bunch of projects coming up. So you're going to go into town and get all the things. Spend a small fortune on wood. Uh-huh. Because, yes. Yeah. And then we should be able to move forward. If you get the board for this, I could be working on that tomorrow. All right, because we, we need a build. shoogie bond, a bunch of things. Um, guys, we're going to go with 4 by 4s for the lentil instead of 4 by 6s Yeah. So on a four-foot span, I've read that it's standard to go for 4 by 4 for a header or mm -hmm. a lentil. Either way you want to call it. We kind of overdid it for these other openings just here. just what we had. Yeah, it was just what we had. But also, we're trying to keep this outer wall as low as we can. Mm -hmm. So even just a couple of inches is going to help us keep it down um, and not have to go up like multiple bags before we even get to the point where we can go over it with yeah. the next bag. So anyway, so yay, you'll more see. More bags, you'll more see. lentils, more wood. So I have no idea what we'll be doing tomorrow because it depends on when you get back. When I get back and with the wood. Yeah. 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 Who knows, guys? You'll find out when we find out. <laughs> Ready? Welcome to our world. So, that's all for today. I guess we'll see you tomorrow. When that sleep won't come And you've cried your song Let it come to you There's nothing you can do Until I see you smile Just below those eyes That tell me you're okay It's written on your face as you come to light, I come alive Your silhouette in the summer sky But this is only a matter You can only get better You can only get better And this is only a matter You can only get better You can only get better sorrow in burn every piece of it let me comfort you i'll be your go-to cause these are youthful days we will grow in great worse or better our time is best together